Hey, hi, hello. I hope everyone's having a good night. Um, I just wanted to check in because um, today was an interesting day and I just wanted to tell you guys about it. Um, there was some kind of funny stuff. So um, I went to the gym today and like when I was, <laughs> so that, then I left the gym because I wanted to get a Rico Rico Al Pastor taco bowl. I was like, I'm so hungry. Um, so I walk over to get the bowl. I order the bowl and then I walk over to Trader Joe's to get a bottle of champagne. Now I pour the champagne into my water bottle as much as would fit because <laughs> you know it's really bubbly so half of it was like bubbles but the other half was like champagne but I still had like half a bottle of champagne that was just in the bottle so I put the bottle in my bag and I'm just like walking across the street <laughs> and I'm like you know my own little groove and all I hear is like ma'am 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 and I was like hey what's up and this guy's like, you know, you have a bottle of party like following you out of your bag. Your champagne's like falling right out of your bag as you walk. And I just like burst out laughing. It was so funny. Um, and so when I was walking from the gym, there was a like listening party, like an album listening party at this um boutique store i walked past it a few times but it was very cool um and so i just went into the boutique store i don't know if you guys can see that that's kind of like what it looked like and they were giving out like free um i guess it was like a table full of weed like they were just giving that out you just like take it so everyone was super lit and happy like i don't smoke marijuana so this did nothing for me but to everyone who did, it seemed like they were very happy. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, um, here's what I wanted to say tonight, though. I feel like I'm really starting to understand some things about, like, adulthood and the world a little bit more. Even though I feel like the world doesn't understand me, um, like, I personally am just not a person who's, like, pressed off of other people's opinions about me or, and I guess I also realize, like, how many men just walk around all the time talking about women. They just, and not in some good way, like, oh, this woman's so great, oh, I love this woman, like, oh, this woman did this, and this woman's so awful, and she's this, and she's that, and she's this, and she's that. It's just kind of like, here's what I know. I'm a human and I'm going to do what I want to do. And I feel like part of the reason that I'm over America is all these like faulty politics, you know, where everyone seems to have these like, they just have like faulty morals. They're not like real morals. Like no one, no men in this country actually care about virginity or purity politics. They just want to like boast around in front of other men to get clapped. It actually means nothing to them in reality. Um, and I also think some things are just very scary because like, I think black men really don't understand the magnitude of their own demise as in like the numbers of black people in the country are dropping at a staggering rate like it's just they're dropping so quickly and like black men are black whether they like it or not and like they're on the decline i don't even know another way to say it or like i don't have another thing and it's just like everyone keeps sharing these trauma porn stories as though that's going to push us forward. What I do see a lot of black women doing is finding like pragmatic solutions to share with the future generations so that they don't make the same mistakes that like we made, which I think is useful. Um, I just also wish that more people would start having more honest conversations about whatever their reality is. 
um, we just don't need any more lies. Like we honestly need honest conversations just so that people can understand what the reality is and then push it forward. That is what we desperately need. Um, I'm not saying that we're gonna get it. I don't, I honestly don't think that we will, but I still think that's what we need. Hmm. I guess I am also just very, I guess very upset. That's a good way to put That's a good word. I'm very upset about the way that the last year went. Um, I wish I would have focused more on my therapy and less on other people. Um, I wish I would have tried to be more, I don't want to say that. I think that, I think that unfortunately the place that I was in last year was a place of overwhelming despair. And there was just some expectation that I had what it takes to deal with that as a very young woman and you know this is one of the things where it's just kind of like black women are not superheroes and black women are not here to save anyone else like we are really working very hard to save ourselves and that has to be enough like the rest of you go save your fucking selves stop comparing your own struggles to ours stop comparing your lives to ours stop comparing your beauty to ours Stop comparing your boyfriends to ours. Stop comparing your food to ours. Like, we're just so unsimilar to you. Like, we have nothing in common. We have no commonalities. And that's okay. It's okay to be like, that is another woman over there that I know nothing about. I don't know her story. I don't know her. She's a stranger over there. It's okay to fucking say that. And for that to be the reality. Like you don't have to change it. You don't have to try to change it. You don't have to like wish something else. You can just be like that is the reality. There's this other woman over there. That is doing her own shit. That has nothing to do with me. Because that's what's happening. That's what's happening. And it's weird as fuck. For all these people to keep coming out. And trying to be like were similar i know her story explaining it in their own words and fallacies it's just it's so strange please please stop just accept us as we are as something different than you that's all i ask